Um, so with your account, whether you're free or premium, you have an insights tab. And on the insights tab, it's got a bunch of different reports. It's got a single assessment, you know, deep dive summary into a, one particular assessment. Um, you can also see, as I've pulled up here on the premium version, different types of standards reports. And I'm going to just walk through uh, these in, in just a moment. But you also have multiple progress reports. Um, you can even, you know, track your students and how they're progressing or even trending downward. So that way you can identify those gaps early on and go in and there and, you know, um, plan, plan your reteach and, and intervention strategies accordingly. Uh, one of the standards reports is the standards uh, performance summary. So as you can see here, I'm looking at all of my tests and, and these standards that have popped up on all of those tests, um, you know, thus far uh, within this school year. And so right now I'm comparing by class and by mastery score. And so talk about your bird's eye view, just at a glance, you know, this standard 6.5 looks like, um, you know, it's something that I'm going to really need to revisit with my students. And so what does that revisit look like? And so this is when you can go to a live class board, which I'll get to in a minute, to look at, was it the question? Is it the content? And that's when you can really gather that high quality student data, both qualitative and quantitative to um, you know, help support you. Um, now, if you wanna compare by student, you can just come down here and flip that on. Um, but what you can do is, you know, that was looking at the classes and their performance uh, with the standards. And then now I'm in the students, okay? And so I see, you know, Miss, and these are all fake students, but Emmy Arias, for example, you know, overall um, mastery and then a breakdown for each of the standards. So 6.1, you know, these two students fell on. Um, you can even analyze in a few different ways. You can even look at mastery level or raw score. Um, what you can also do from here is you can select maybe just the domain that you want to focus on. So this domain of 6.1, you can click on it um, and then it will just, and then you hit apply over here. So you can see how easy this is to use. Um, and it just, it depends on what you're trying to look at. If you're looking at all the standards across all tests that you've administered throughout the year, um, and you want to focus, you know, domain by domain and look at kind of the overall performance here. Um, so, so this is one, you know, resource you can go to uh, for uh, that standards mastery and, and data on, um, you know, standards that uh, you have tied to your assessment. Um, you can even come to, you know, a certain test. So we haven't even covered that. This is like a cumulative view. Um, and then you can drill down into like one particular test, for instance, to look at the standards and how both the class and the student did on those standards. So this report right now is on a premium uh, report. The free version gives you a standards grade book. So I'm gonna click in the standards grade book here and this, this report is on your free side. So that's why we highly encourage you to go in and create a free account. Um, and again, so my filter has remained. I'm only on this one standard, but see here now, um, I call this the lasagna effect, but now you can look at uh, your your stacked uh, proficiency, if you will, and really see, you know, gosh, more than half the class has not mastered 6.1. And then you can also see it here as well. So again, what is it about standard 6.1? As a former chemistry teacher, I would probably go, oh, this, I bet this is stoichiometry because that's a really tough subject, um, uh, content to master. Uh, but then you look at this percentage here that are above, uh, you know, that have either are basic or above. Um, so now it's really about trying to getting more students up into this basic range. Um, here I'm comparing by student, but again, you can compare by class. And if you're in a premium version, you can compare in a few different ways as well. Um, but if I turn off 6.1, um, and I hit apply. And again, this is on the free version. So you're still getting similar to the standards performance summary. Um, but, you know, it's just one way to look at the standards uh, data that's available to you within your account. Um, so, so here, you know, I can look um, students who, you know, have not mastered versus who are on their way to mastery uh, within these, within each standard. And if you highlight over the student names here, 
If you're on a premium account, which again, you can take on a free trial, um, these will, and you can see down here, it's, it's gonna go to a student profile summary. So that's a really nice report to look up to see how the student performed over the course of a year. It's gonna give you their assessment data, the standards over the course of the year. And so that's nice to share with your students, share with parents, but using that to kind of guide um, guide them into that next grade level and maybe things that they should be working on and even sharing with their, you know, next teacher in line uh, for like, you know, their, their seventh grade math year. Um, so again, with this report on the free version, you can, this is looking again, a cumulative view. Um, you can go to a particular test. So as we think about um, state test prep and just kind of reviewing some of those troublesome standards, throughout the year, you can go back to certain tests and, and look at the, the standards mastery that way. Um, so this standards grade book, again, is on the free account. And then finally, there's a standards uh, progress report. And this is a new report we just released. Um, it's on the premium version. Um, but this is looking at, uh, see, these are assessments. And of course, this is all fake data. Yours is going to look um, a lot better, depending on the standard, right? <laughs> um, but so here's my classes. Um, what I can do is uh, look at this by student. And, you know, that screen there is giving you that, that um, assessment by assessment summary, which is really nice. Um, and I forgot to show in the standards grade book, you can actually see the standards um, how students perform, it might actually be here. No, it's on the other uh, view. But you, you'll you be able to click on something and you can see like Emmy Arias, for example, her score on each of her assessments um, from the, I think it's from either from performance summary or standards grade book along the way. But you don't need it for this view because you'll be able to see each assessment um, over the year. And again, there's a few ways to analyze as well. Um, these reports are for premium. OK, again, the standards grade books on the free side. But when you activate that trial or you're a district on the call today that has Edulastic, you have a single assessment report teacher. So so now what I'm doing is taking a deep dive into a, a single assessment um, report. So on this single assessment, my average score across my classes are here, as well as how my students performed within their performance bands. Um, I'm looking at the classes across and how they performed here. So you'll get this for any single assessment summary. On the single assessment summary, you get the performance across your classes. So, wow, what's going on with period four? <laughs> um, but you'll be able to, you know, reflect on the class, you know, what, what happened, why, what is going on between period one and, you know, period two, for instance. Um, as well as the individual students that make up those classes, right? Because everyone's unique. So that's uh, that's going to allow you to reflect more and decide, you know, what strategies do I need to do with period two that maybe I'm doing in period one, um, but for some reason or not, maybe the period two, you know, makeup is a bit different. Um, you can analyze by a few different ways here. I can even, uh, you know, look at the proficiency band and my lasagna effect here for each class will pop up. Um, and I'm comparing class right now. Maybe I want to do student groups. So you have the ability on the premium account to um, have flexible grouping. So whether that's groups based on performance or groups uh, based on like. So I had a teacher creating groups for ACT prep, for ASVAB prep, because they wanted to go into the military after high school. And you can create student groups like that and send them some different, some assessments to practice with, especially for that ASVAB test to get them uh, to pass. Uh, analysis tab. So this is going to look at each question individually on your assessment. So if you want that, you, you need that deep dive, especially for that high quality student data, you really need to drill down into the question. So this is going to provide that for you. I see how my students perform, the average time it's taking on those questions. I'm loving question one's data so far. So I can actually come over here and each question has that URL. I can go to that question on the live class board to see what, why, you know, and of course, there's lots of different standards here. So I support a lot of different states. But what's nice is you'll get to see the standard tied to that question. So A1, students are doing pretty well on, as well as 
But what type of question was this? Maybe they perform well because it was true false versus um, fill in the blank or uh, you know label image, some sort of tech enhanced item. So now you can look at the frequency tab and see how did the students perform on the different item types. So this just had two and it looks like multiple choice is not doing as well as the math text dropdown. So this is how you can really evaluate questions, right? To figure out is it because if it's not the content, you know, if they know the content and it's just the type of item, but we know the air test has a lot of those tech enhanced items. Maybe I need to give more practice to my students on those tech enhanced items. And what you can do, I'm just going to hop out of here and I'll come back to this report in a minute, is again, remember when you're filtering, you can filter by um, question type. So you can filter for, um, oops, I want to go here. You can filter for just um, those high tech enhanced uh, items. So if you come here to question type, here they are. So you can look for just label image, drag drop, or text entry. Maybe some of the question types that they're not um, comfortable with, you can um, you know, do some whole group instruction with the, those questions to show them, you know, really it's just a matter of navigating the technology, not so much the, the, the content. Um, so let me go back to the insights tab. Uh, there's a performance by standard. So this is going to give you every standard on that, that assessment and how they did. And then there's a performance by students. And with the performance by students, um, this is where on your premium account, you can start doing those flexible groupings um, on the fly here. So let me uh, pull up that same uh, topic A, go to test, pull up that assessment that you're interested in. Because again, this is a single assessment summary. And what's, what's neat about this assessment I assigned is it was only on one standard, but the questions varied in proficiency because I was only focusing on question type. I knew they knew the standard, but now I'm gonna mix it up to see what question types are they continuously getting wrong. Maybe it's the written response. And we now need to you know, work on building literacy in that context. Yeah. So here's my students and their, and their, um, their proficiency band. So what I can do now is filter for my students who scored limited because I need to work with these students a little bit more. So what I can do is just click them all, add to a student group, and now I'm able to create a new group with these three students and do some small group instruction with them, some more differentiated practice assessments, and now I can track their data separate of the class to see if I can get them bumped up to the next proficiency band with, with the work that I'm doing with them. So that's a nice way to just group students real quick on the fly. But if you, again, go back to that bar graph, just think this is where all of your data lies. We just covered something from the single assessment. You also have a multiple assessment report uh, suite where you can look at, again, progression of students over time, um, strengths and weaknesses, targeting for differentiated instruction. And then finally, there's a nice student profile report suite where it's going to um, give that student a snapshot of their performance to date. Really nice to print these for parents, principals, or even just sharing with your students and having those conversations with them. It'll show them their um, performance by domain and standard as well as um, their scores on their assessments throughout the year. So um, really helpful to have those conversations with your kiddos. So this is all good, you know, to see kind of over time and bird's eye view and tracking performance. But really, we need to be, you know, understanding what's happening in real time so we can make those intentional notes on the spot to then figure out tomorrow what does the, what, what does the lesson look like here. So you can go to your assessments clipboard and you can go to any assignment um, you've assigned, okay? Now, if I go to this math, math benchmark and I click on it, I see all these three classes and I see ones in progress. You can use the TV to get an insight and view into what's happening live. So when I click on that TV, I grab my popcorn and I can watch the magic happen. So... 
this isn't going to be too exciting, but just imagine this is the test is in flight and you're going to see all the student responses start, start popping up. Um, but on the premium version, you can present this. So imagine your you know, whole group instruction coming together as a class, projecting this on your smart board, whiteboard, what have you, or maybe you're in a Zoom and see now all of my kids are totally anonymous and no one's embarrassed and now we can say okay class question nine what why question nine is is causing such a problem uh for, for you all and you know students will raise their hand and we can click on um, this particular bar right here and we'll see exactly what question nine was oh division of fractions well everyone's favorite why did they get it wrong <laughs> Um, but you'll be able to, you know, come into the question and then if the students use scratch pad, there'll be a button here and you can pull up and see where are the students, you know, um, missing the mark and what kind of feedback am I, this test is closed, so I can't add feedback, but where I can, I can, you know, add feedback based on the work they show to maybe redirect them to retake and then show them their previous response on the redirect show them my feedback and see if they can get it right the next time around. So that's your live class board. Live class board comes with the free account, but there are a few little bells and whistles that I have on my live class board that are with the premium. And again, we're offering those free trials of premium right now. So you can take that premium account in a test drive. So you'll have the present but, uh, button available for you to use. You'll have the standards based report where you can click on this tab and um, right from here, you'll be able to, um, if I click, here, in fact, you can present, get out of there, there we go. You can present this as well. So if I click present, the, the kiddos will start to be those random um, words uh, here. So you can even share this with your class and look at, okay, let's look at the domain, look at the standard, like, you know, uh, we got to work on these questions and these standards down here. But what you can do is just from this vertical dot, you can print student report cards for this particular assessment, share with students, share with parents.